Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about Saka da construction. Saka has two meanings, to want and to love. So if we change the verb Saka according to present it would be Ja sakam, ti sakaš, toj ta toa saka, nije sakame, vije sakate, tije sakat. Okay, this is the present of the verb sak. For example, if we want to say I love coffee, then we would say sakam kafe. But also if we want to say I want coffee, then we would say sakam kafe. So basically, uh, with one sentence, we can say both of them, okay? And now, so the saka da construction uh, actually in English has two meanings. First, want to do something. I want to drink coffee. I want to see movie. I want to read a book. I want to go out, whatever. And second meaning is love doing something. For example, I love drinking coffee, I love listening to music, I love reading books, etc. So both of them can be made in Muslim with this verb, with this construction. Okay, now we are going to see how we use it. Uh, as I already told you, we use the verb saka. So the verb saka can change according to the tense, to the person, singular, plural, everything. And da is used as a conjunction to uh, connect the verbs. Then we have the other verb. Okay, this is the main verb. We, the verbs in Macedonian have two shapes. They have imperfective shape and perfective shape. I posted a video about this subject so you can check it out later. For example, sakam da piam kafe has two meanings in English. I want to drink coffee and I love drinking coffee. Sakam da gledam film. I want to see a movie. I want to watch a movie. Or I love watching movies. Sakam da chitam kniga. Sakam da chitam kniga is more like I want to read a book now at the moment. Because if we want to say I love reading books, we have to use like the plural shape of the noun, right? Because it's not one book. I love to read books, like different books. So basically, we uh, have to say sakam da chitam knigi. Okay? Sakam da igram tennis. I want to play tennis. I love playing tennis. Sakam da gotvam. I want to cook. I love cooking. Okay? So this is really easy to remember as a construction. But there is also one more thing that I want to mention. These examples that I gave you refer to. Uh, on activities that we do on a daily basis for example or, or like in general i love doing something i want to cook like every day or reading books or playing tennis or whatever but um, if we talk about something else like um, something specific maybe let's say for example i want to sell the house in this sentence we have the verb to sell something which in macedonian is prodava Prodade, the imperfective shape is prodava, the perfective shape is prodade. So I have to choose one of them now. Which one will I choose? Prodava or prodade? Prodava is to sell something like continuously, okay? And prodade on the other side is like something to sell for one time only. So uh, if we think about it, uh, we can sell the house only once, right? So that's why we have to use the perfective shape of the verb, which is prodade. So now I have to use that verb in my sentence. And uh, I would say, sakam da ja prodadam kutjata. As you can see in this sentence, I also used ja because it's a direct object, the house. I want to sell the house. That's why I have to use ja, okay? Sakam da ja prodadam kutjata. If I, the sentence was I want to sell the phone, for example, I would say sakam da go prodadam telefonot. Because, because phone is a masculine word and it requires go, not yeah, but some more information about this topic in uh, one of my next videos, okay? So uh, our point here is that when we want to make this construction, we need to uh, be careful about the verb. 
So if we talk about something that we are doing on a daily basis, like uh, everyday activities routine, then uh, we mostly use the imperfective shape of the verb, okay? But um, if we are talking about something that is unusual, let's say, then we have to choose between the imperfective and the perfective shape of the verb, okay? And what you should remember about this construction. Let's go on with the a negative form. If we want to make a negative form, then we only put ne in front of the construction. For example, ne sem da odam v supermarket. I don't want to go to the supermarket. Kam da zboruvam na telefon. I don't want to talk on the phone. Kam da gledam televizija, etc. Okay? And about the question form, we have three ways to make the question. First one is with dali. Dali sakaš da gledaš film so mene. Would you like or do you want to see a movie with me? Dali sakaš. Okay? The second shape would be sakaš li da gledaš film so mene. It's the same meaning. And the third one is sakaš da gledaš film so mene. The intonation is very important here. Sakaš da gledaš film so mene. It's the same. Would you like to watch a movie with me? To see a movie with me? Okay? There's one more thing that we need to know about this construction. For example, if I say sakam da doideš so mene. I want sakam da doideš you to come. You doideš so mene with me. Sakam da doideš so mene. I want you to come with me. Hm. We change the verb according to second person singular. You. Doidesh. I use the perfect shape of the verb because talking about a specific situation. I want you to come with me to some place, to the cinema, to the market or wh wherever, it doesn't matter. It's for one time, that, that's why I have to use the perfective shape of the verb. And I must say, sakam da doidesh so mene. If I say sakam da doagyash so mene, for example, that means that uh, I want you to come with me all the time to some place that I will be going like for one month, two months, like continuously. Okay, so there is a big difference. But here we are talking about a specific situation where we need to use the perfective shape of the verb. And also, uh, if I want to say uh, I want him to come with me, sakam da doide so mene. I'm going to change doagya doide according to third person sing singular, right? Sakam da doide te. If we are talking about a group of people or we are talking in a polite way, right? So this is the rule for uh, sakada construction. Your, your homework for this lesson would be uh, to give me answer to the question Što sakaš da praviš vo tvojeto slobodno vreme? Što sakaš da praviš vo tvojeto slobodno vreme? What do you want to do in your free time, in your spare time, like? So, for your answers. Also, check out my Instagram and Facebook profiles because uh, interesting content there also and uh, maybe some vocabulary so uh, you can improve your Macedonian also. Thank you for your watching. Uh, hope next video. Imajte ubav den. Ciao, ciao.